Well, good morning, LaDawn. Good morning, Bahamas. A great start to your Monday morning and just a few days leading into the Christmas holiday uh, weekend, rather Christmas holiday. I'm a little excited to, to get there. Now, this morning, uh, we are here at the New Providence Highway. Uh, specifically already this morning, I've observed on the northbound lane that feeds right into western New Providence and into the Farrington Road area. It's a little heavy. Now, if you do happen to utilize this area to get to your various destination, you should be able to do so with a slight delay. This morning, we're also joined by Sergeant Kirsten Air Johnson from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division, giving us a look at traffic developments over the weekend period. A pleasant good morning to you and a pleasant good morning, Bahamas. Over the weekend period, we've had several in traffic involved incidents. We've had 25 traffic accidents involving damage. We have had five accidents involving injury and one hit and one accident. Of those five accidents involving injury, we have one person who means hospitalized at this time who's in very serious condition after being involved in a traffic accident while he was riding a motorcycle. We also have an elderly female who was also involved in a traffic accident over the weekend period. So yes, indeed, a busy, busy weekend. We're definitely praying for both victims there. Now, this morning, one of those things that we're talking about are tents, tents, tents across the windshield. Yes. Now, I know that's a concern for police. Tell us about what is uh, um, uh, legal, what's illegal, and what are some of those possible charges? Well, you know, on a, on a regular basis, I'm stopped and persons always ask me, officer, what is the, the tint that is required for my vehicle? And the tint that is required for your vehicle is actually no tint. The offense reads, windows not of transparent glass. Your glass is supposed to be transparent. All right, so anytime you're driving and traveling in your vehicle, the glass is supposed to be clear. It is for your safety and also our safety at all times. Because, for example, I always tell, I always give this example when I stop persons with tents. If your vehicle is stolen and persons are inside your vehicle, how are we to see that a, a, that a gunman or somebody is not pointing a gun back at us or something along that line, anything along that line, or someone's holding you up in your vehicle, how are we to, to recognize what's going on inside your vehicle? And then at different temperatures during the day, especially... Mid, that, that, during that early morning hour when your glass is foggy. It's hard to be able to see what's inside your vehicle. If your glass is clear at all times, then we're able now to recognize certain things and adjust as, as we need to. Now, one of those final things we're talking about this morning. Next week is a big week for us here on the morning edition and specifically uh, for the morning traffic team. Uh, we have a huge giveaway that we're organizing. Uh, several community partners uh, have chipped in to assist. What we want to do is recognize several drivers, outstanding drivers with stellar skills on the road. Now, uh, Sergeant Johnson, along with the team, are going to be assisting with that initiative. Any reminders you want to give those drivers? Yes, but we want to encourage at all times good driving behavior. Usually when we come on air, you always hear about the negative stuff that's happening on the street. But there are some persons out there who should be, who should be encouraged to carry on and to, to continue to do, continue to, continue to exhibit good driving behavior. So we want to, I can't wait until next week, we want to uh, encourage these persons by giving them a little token and saying, hey, keep up the good work. We encourage you to drive as you've been always doing in a safe manner. Now, of course, continue to tune in right here on the Morning Edition for more details on how you could be one of those big winners next week. That completes our morning traffic report for the Morning Edition. Lord Allen, ZNS Network News.